blood from a dying Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and whenever I see an attractive woman, I make this sound. <laughs> Don't let me catch you four sitting in a circle giving each other back rubs, okay? And there's your hardware. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Slightly used balloons. The more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> Alright, we're taking off. Get ready, time for fashion. To get things rolling, Mexican do attitude. What dish could Porky Pig order at a Mexican restaurant without committing ca 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 cannibalism? Al pastor, chorizo, ceviche, or lomo adobada? Player two, who's gonna get that screw? You just got screwed, player four. Five seconds to pick an answer. <laughs> Nice screw work there, player two. You want even more cash? Player is one, two, and three. Ceviche is fish. Great idea. Give spicy Mexican food to someone who doesn't wear pants. I call this one. Mark TV, and it's a dis or dat. Player four? Go ahead and take this dis or dat. See if you can increase your cash a bit. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com, an MTV show, or both. If it's a Walmart department, press the square button. If it's on MTV, Press the circle button. If it's both, press X. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Choose an answer before player four. And if player four gets it wrong, I'll split the cash among everyone who got it right. Okay, we're off. Bats. Cribs. Mugs. Skins. Juniors! Juvies! Tools! You're a tool. Walmart doesn't have a jackass department, though. Officially. Dance with me, Disco 3! Open wide for... Just want to check in. Hey, how do you feel? With the pharynx? With the thoracic cavity? With the pulmonary veins? Or with the thalamus? Player one, who's gonna get it? Player four, you are so screwed! You got five seconds! Hate to disappoint you, but... Wait, no I don't. Player one, your screw worked out. Why not pick up a few more bucks? Player two? How do you say, uh, no? Player one? You got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Player three? Located just above the brainstem, the thalamus acts as the relay station, sending information like pain to the brain. That's fine, don't ask me how I'm feeling. I asked you how you feel, but whatever. Sure, it's it's also with my thalamus, but it's just common decency to reciprocate. May I introduce... For whom the dinner bell tolls. Ooh, it's almost time for my dinner. Better have this fortune cookie first.
as prescribed by my doctor. Cookies, fortune, cookies, fortune, cookies, fortune, cookie necessary. Mmm, not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm. If that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog, the cow, or the spoon? In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. This was pre-YouTube, you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. Five fingers! Here we have... I've had intimate thoughts about Adam. Which of these people is B.I. Curious? Someone interested in sexually experimenting with barium? Someone looking to explore with bromine? Someone flirting with beryllium? Or someone fantasizing about bismuth? Player one. Um, excuse me. Player two. Players three and four. The chemical symbol for bismuth is B.I. But as a society, we shouldn't put labels on things like this, except chemicals. You should label chemicals so you don't blow yourself up. Unless that's what you're into. Look, I don't know, man. <laughs> Round one is complete, and player three is in the lead, and I am on the edge of my seat. Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And remember, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Okay, we're bringing it on. Take a stab at... Spit up or shut up. If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, what would she be called? Lady... You got a player for Pick some of the screw! According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada or Daddy was by far the most popular first word spoken by babies, beating out Mama or Mommy by a considerable margin. <laughs> Lady Dada is a good name, right? Please just say yes, because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. Hey, Player 4, just be happy this isn't real life. <laughs> This one's called Childhood Murmuries. It looks like we have a sort of treat today. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Ah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since birth. I know we're on Earth. <sighs> Anywho, I need your help remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up doodly do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Screwy screwy up do? I forget. So, what is it you're trying to remember, old man? Well, it's something I used to do when I was just a lad. Uh, not sure the history books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. It's a game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn, and seeds are involved somehow. What is that game? Would it be, uh, Conkers, Queenie Queenie, Marbles, or Five Stones? Player three? Could be worse, you know, in theory. <laughs> Players one and four? Marbles? <laughs> I think you lost yours. <laughs> Player two? You thinking of Conkers, old man? Hey, Conkers, yeah! It's an old British kids game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seeds called a Conker, and they take turns whacking at them. Three whacks per turn. Why is that fun? <laughs> 
It's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same, minus the liver spots. Didn't start growing those till my early 20s. Mm-hmm. And when did you start smelling like liver? Hmm, <laughs> that depends. When was liver invented? Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Here's one I like to call... All rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. If trees brought a class action lawsuit against lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal counsel? The Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, Pop, or the Lorax? Let me show you something. The Lorax speaks for the trees. And in a lawsuit, the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. It makes sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. You hopped on the wrong answer. But also just drifted into winning an assortment of half-deflated balloons from slightly used balloons. Slightly used balloons. When the party's over, the savings begin. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Take a good look at... There's a question in my pants and you're all invited. It's the put the choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Question! Okay, as usual, if you get this correct, there's a little extra in it for you. Speaking of extra, put these underwear styles in order from least butt cheek revealing to most butt cheek revealing. Thong, bikini, tonga. Bikini, tonga, thong, tonga, thong, bikini, thong, bikini, tonga, or tonga. Player three, who gets your screw? Oh, you're screwed, player one. You got five seconds. Nobody picks that one. Player three, that turned out to be a great screw. Time to twist the knife. Players two and three? Oh, you picked the thong answer. <laughs> Player four? Bikini style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than tonga style, and tonga style cover more than thong, which leave your butt cheeks pretty much all out there. That just earned you an extra thousand bucks. But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. Try this on for size. Feeling fines. I love that actor from Schindler's List and the English Patient. You know, the one who plays Voldemort. But I'm never certain if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? <laughs> Players two and three? <laughs> Player one. I would know how to pronounce it if it was that easy. <laughs> Player four? Yep, Rafe Fine's first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. And his brother Joseph Fines is pronounced Joseph, but it's spelled L-E-S-S-F-A-M-O-U-S. -S -S it's a weird British thing. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I love you like a legal guardian. I hope you know who adopted or just took care of who.
too. I hope you are planning a big celebration in honor of your victory, because it's not that great of a win, you know what I mean? I would inflate too many balloons or hire a clown or anything, and certainly no bouncy houses. Maybe just a simple cake that reads... You don't know! I just showered, but I still smell kind of funky. Did you remember to clean your entire body? Well, I mean, I tried, but there are so many body parts to remember. That's why you need the shower list. The shower list? A helpful list of all your body parts that need to be cleaned. It's just a little piece of paper. Yes, but it's waterproof. So I can take it in the shower. Let's see. I washed that. I washed that. I washed those. Okay. Yeah. I forgot my butt. Use the shower list and never forget to wash your butt or any other part of your body ever again. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thanks, shower list. Thanks, shower list. Now, could you get out of my shower? Ooh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just passionate about the product. I'm Kyle Pepper, and ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, now I'm 36 and going nowhere fast, so that's why I'm starting Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. We only have three rules. One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night, we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You start with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. I can't wait to meet you!